Hi, and welcome to City Kids Online. My name is Carolyn, and I have some friends with me today. My name's Hannah, and I'm Drew. And we are really happy to be with you today. So, how was your week? Did you guys do anything fun? Did you go anywhere fun? Hey, Drew, how about you? Did you guys go anywhere fun or do anything? Uh, well, I had friends over at my house, so that was pretty fun. What'd you do? Uh, we had a Nerf war and we played basketball, we played Legos. Did you win? Um, well, with like the Nerf war or basketball? Yes and yes. Yes and yes, so that's, that's really all that matters. <laughs> yeah. Just kidding. <laughs> Hannah, what'd you do? Uh, well, today my mom, dad, and I drove to Woodland because uh, home gets opened and we got me an egg chair. What is an egg chair? So it's basically a chair, so it's basically a swing for a room, and it's shaped kind of like an oval egg shape. And then you just sit down in it, and you can like swing back and forth. Nice. Are you going to like read and stuff in that? Maybe. Okay. Fun. Fun. Everyone likes egg chairs. <coughs> I know or what an egg chair is. I saw you know an egg chair? Kenzie knows what an egg chair is. <laughs> so it's going to be awesome. So today, we are going to do something a little bit different than we do a normal City Kids video. We are going to have some fun. So right now, we have, if you've ever seen the Mentos Challenge, we've done this, or you can see it like on YouTube and stuff, but we have some Mentos and we have some soda. So what Drew and Hannah are going to do today is we are going to put them together and hopefully uh, have some fun. Hopefully we will see this uh, kind of shootout. We'll see what goes on. So. Beforehand though, Hannah and Drew both chose their soda, so I want to know why you guys chose the soda that you chose. So Drew, why do you think your soda is going to go higher than Hannah's? Um, I think it's going to go higher because every time I've seen someone do this, it's been with Coke, and it's always like really cool, so I'm going with the original. Going with the original, I like that. How about you, Hannah? Well, this has more sugars than the Coke, and I've also seen a bunch of YouTubers use uh, Mountain Rush and Mountain Dew. And it's green for it's city green. kids. So, yeah. so, sorry Drew, I'm rooting You're for You're out of luck. Oh no, oh no. <laughs> I'm rooting for this. So, let's do this. Why don't we have some lovely people coming up? They're ready to cheer us on. So who do you guys think's gonna win? Is it gonna be Drew or Drew! Hannah? in some Mentos and we're going to cheer them on but they're going to get ready first we're not go ahead and get yourselves all set it's a little tricky sometimes all right Drew are you ready no just kidding Hannah are you ready yes I guess all right so on three we're going to pull it off ready cheer them on ready one two three Because like I'm putting them in. Oh, you're putting them in little by little? Mm, because I, I didn't put it. mine in. All right, so here's the thing. Thank you. Thanks. So at you at home, what is your favorite soda? Like first, I kind of like Mr. Pibb. That's my Dr. Pepper is amazing, but it's like right under Mr. Pibb. What about you, Drew? Do you have a favorite? Mm. You're soaking. <laughs> I really like root beer. Okay, any particular brand? Um, I really like the um, A&W burger. Okay. Hannah, what's your favorite soda? Pepsi. Pepsi. Yeah, that's that's never going to ever, ever be in my Mine's house. Mine's Dr. Pepper. <laughs> Dr. Pepper, we love them all. So again, what about you? If you would, go ahead and put in the comments perhaps what your favorite soda is. And if soda's not really something that your family does, what's like a special drink that your family enjoys, like on special occasions? So go ahead and put them in the comments. And with that, we're gonna say goodbye so stick with us though we're gonna jump right into the connect video and so we'll enjoy that we'll kind of watch that together but for our part we're gonna go ahead and see you next week goodbye hey luke hey harper are you wearing a mustache no i don't th oh i guess i am somebody must have slapped it on my face when i wasn't looking well, I found a mustache on my face. That would completely ruin my day, but you don't seem bothered at all. It's not that big of a deal. Here, try it out. 
You know, this is a code violation, 2864. You look like a grumpy dog catcher. <laughs> we are Connect HQ. Every day we help the people of the world live God's way. We look for the links, make the connection, and you never know what might happen. My name is Alyssa, and this is how I made it through a horrible day. Alyssa, I am so sorry. Would it be okay if I shared this with the rest of the team? Not yet. I need a little time to process before I let everyone know. I understand. Maybe you should take a little time. Okay. Alyssa isn't her usual bouncy self. Yeah, is everything okay? She just got some bad news. What is it? Well, she asked me not to share it just yet, but you can be praying for her while she's going through a hard time. Maybe we could think of a way to cheer up today. Yeah, that's a great idea, Harper. Yeah, I'm sure sharing some amazing stories about the memories that you guys have together would really help her out today. Oh, I can use your help with this too. Mm. Okay, dear Connect HQ, some neighborhood kids of mine wanted me to throw rocks at windows, but I said I wouldn't. When they got caught throwing rocks at windows, they blamed it all on me. Now I'm grounded for three months. My parents are so angry at me. I didn't even do anything. This is horrible. What should I do, Troy and Pittsburgh? That isn't right. Troy shouldn't be punished for something that someone else did. It's a tough situation. I mean, he can't tell those neighborhood kids to tell the truth. Yeah. Well, maybe we can find some links that'll help him to let him know that no matter what happens, good or bad, he can use his story to give God glory. Even a story like this? God can use any story, even the hard ones. I'll find a verse link to help Troy. Yeah, and I'll uh, look at a Bible link. Thank you for your hard work, team. You got it, Captain. And remember that time whenever I made that ugly cake for your birthday and you still ate it? I ate way too much of that cake. Yeah. And what about the time when my grandma died? We stayed up till it was like 2 o'clock in the morning and you never told me that it was getting too late. You just stayed there with me. That was a great night. Alyssa, you're my best friend and you're part of some of the best memories that I have. And it hurts me to see you hurting like this. You didn't tell everybody else, did you? No, of course not. But they want me to let you know that they're praying for you, no matter what. You can take all the time that you need. The rest of us are working on a problem. What's the problem? Well, there's this kid that's having a rough time at home. I think I know how he feels. I just want you to know that we're here for you, no matter what. Thanks. Hey, Alyssa, I uh, made you something. What is it? That is a coupon allowing you to break code violation 2864. Mm -hmm. Code violation 2864, no putting fake mustaches on people. That's right. Whenever you want, you can present this coupon. I will look the other way and you can put fake mustaches on whomever you want. Just uh, be careful ripping them off. Thanks, Luke. I th thought uh, being able to put a fake mustache on someone might cheer you up. Not today. Today's a bad day. Lisa, I'm so sorry. For whatever you're going through, I am here if you need anything. Thanks. Oh, hey, Alyssa, you'd be the perfect person to help me with this. 
I don't know. We have this kid named Troy who got in trouble for something that he didn't do. We want to show him that God can use your bad experiences for His glory. But when I search the Bible app for bad days, not much comes up. Um, what about Romans 8.28? That's perfect. What if we said it like this? Harper, I'm really not in the mood for verse motions. Maybe it'll help. It's worth a shot. Okay. Romans 8, 28. Romans 8, 28. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him. Who have been called according to his purpose who have been called according to his purpose. So, no matter what we're going through, or no matter what has happened to us, God can always- Harper, you don't know. I don't think there's any way for God to use us for his glory with what's happening. What is happening, Alyssa? You can tell me. My parents are getting a divorce. And I'm so hurt and angry, but today is just horrible, or it's a horrible month, or a horrible life. I just don't know if it's ever going to stop feeling horrible. God, I know you've led me through some really great times in my life. This, this is tough. I don't know how you could use something like divorce for your glory. I need help, or at least someone that knows how I'm feeling. The Bible is full of amazing stories of people who are facing a hard time and then God using it for his glory, like Job and David and Peter. Actually, I think I found the perfect link to help Troy see how God uses our experience to tell our own amazing story. Hey, have you guys seen Alyssa? Uh, I saw her a while ago in the observatory. Hey, check it out. I think I found the Bible link. This is a 66 pick mixed up into one The book's about God, who he is and what he's done It's the Holy Bible, y'all, with God's truth packed out inside It's a life of Christ to hide in your heart and in your mind Old Testaments are set up for the big event When Jesus crashed the scene with a new arrangement It's history, his story, whose story, God's story Let us know up all the pages that this show gone on. Let us world explode from this video into your life. Jacob had 12 sons, but he loved his son Joseph the most. He gave Joseph a special brightly colored coat. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him. They hated him. Joseph also had special dreams. In my dream, we were tying up bundles of wheat, he said and your bundles bowed down to mine. Joseph's brothers hated him even more. Joseph had another dream. The sun, the moon, and eleven stars bowed down before me. His father and brothers grumbled. Are you saying you will rule over us? One day, Joseph's brothers were in the fields watching their sheep. They saw him coming to see them. They planned to kill him and put an end to all his dreams. It would be wrong to kill our brother, said Reuben. Let's throw him in this empty well. So they tore off Joseph's special coat and threw him into the well. Ishmaelite traders came by on their way to Egypt. Let's sell Joseph as a slave to the Ishmaelites, suggested Judah. So the brothers sold Joseph for 20 pieces of silver. The brothers dipped Joseph's coat in goat's blood and showed it to Jacob. My son is dead, he wept. Meanwhile, Joseph was taken to Egypt, but God was with Joseph. In Egypt, the Ishmaelites sold Joseph to Potiphar, one of Pharaoh's captains. 
God blessed Joseph and made him successful. Potiphar put Joseph in charge of his whole household. Joseph served Potiphar well. Potiphar's wife wanted Joseph to sin against God. Joseph refused, so she lied about him. Potiphar believed her, and Joseph was thrown into prison. In prison, Joseph met two of Pharaoh's servants. They each had dreams, and God showed Joseph their meaning. Joseph's explanations came true. The cupbearer was released, and the baker was hanged. Two years later, Pharaoh had two troubling dreams. The cupbearer remembered what Joseph had done for him and told Pharaoh. So Pharaoh sent for Joseph and told him his dreams. God showed Joseph the meaning of Pharaoh's dreams. For seven years, a lot of food will grow, said Joseph. So store up food because seven years of famine will follow. Pharaoh was impressed by Joseph's wisdom, so he put Joseph in charge of storing up all the food. Apart from Pharaoh, no one in Egypt was more powerful than Joseph. Joseph's brothers went to Egypt to buy food. They bowed before Joseph, but did not recognize him. When he saw that they had changed, he told them who he was. The brothers were terrified. You meant to harm me, Joseph said, but God used that for good. Bring all of our family to Egypt. We will have plenty to eat. Wow. Can you imagine being sold into slavery by your own brothers? I can't. And Potiphar's wife lied and had him thrown in prison. That's like Troy's problem. God used all of Joseph's awful experiences as a chance to grow Joseph's skills at leading others. Yeah. Every step, even the tough ones, led Joseph to be a mighty man of God. We found all of our links. Well, let's get started on a connection transmission for Troy. I'll catch up with you guys later. There's something I need to tell Alyssa. I know you probably want to be alone, but I wanted to say something. It might sound weird coming from a kid, but I know how you feel. Really? My parents got a divorce when I was six years old. I'm so sorry, Harper. Yeah, I don't remember everything that happened. They fought a lot, and I was angry at them because they couldn't stop yelling and love each other. I'm angry at my parents too. And it took a while to get over, but I did. And I can still see the ways that God used that story for His glory. He taught me a lot about forgiveness. It's tough. It is. But it won't always be this way. And you're not alone. <laughs> Thanks for saying something, Harper. <laughs> the Bible Link is the story of Joseph, the dreamer. Bible Link uploaded. The Point Link is use your story to give God glory. Point Link uploaded. I think Harper has the verse link. Where is she? Here I am. The verse link is Romans 8:28. In all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. First link uploaded. And I think I've got the live it link. God will lead me through the good times and the bad, even when I'm faced with something like divorce. Live it link uploaded. Connection complete. Okay. I'm going to stay in the transmission for Troy. Oh, I was hoping I could do it. I can relate, and I think it might help take my mind off things. Sure thing. Poor Alyssa. That's got to be tough. Hi, Troy. I'm Alyssa. We found these links for you. The Bible tells us this in Romans. Romans 8.28. In all things God works for the good of those who love Him, 
who have been called according to his purpose. Sometimes it's easy to see how God is working, but when things are tough, sometimes it seems like there's no way that God could use those bad things to do something good in your life. Today, my friend Harper showed me that I can bring glory to God by using what I've been through. It also helped me remember that other people have been through really hard stuff too, and God heals it all and uses it all. What you're going through sounds tough, Troy. I'm sure you're hurt and angry, but no matter what, God is with you and He knows who you were made to be. We have to learn how to praise God in the good times and the bad. Use your story to give God glory. I hope this helps. I'll be praying for you. And remember, Connect HQ is here to help you. Lisa, I'm so sorry to hear about your parents. Thanks. But, you know, there is something that would make me feel better. Mm. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> you kind of look like a sad uncle. It's actually kind of bumming me out, so... I'll take it off! Huh? When we trust and follow Jesus, we can have faith that God can take our bad experiences and use them for His glory. If you've never had that kind of faith or decided to follow Jesus, you can make that decision today. All you have to do is remember the ABCs. A. Admit. Admit that you've done wrong and ask God to forgive you for disobeying Him. B. Believe. Believe God sent Jesus to take the punishment for your sin. Trust that you're forgiven because Jesus made you right with God. C. Choose. Choose to spend your whole life depending on God's power to help you say no to sin. As you live and love like Jesus, tell others God is your leader and number one friend. If you want to make that decision today, be sure to talk about it with your Connect Small Group leader before you leave. <laughs>